Welcome back Firebird Artists. Today we are going to be continuing on with our Zentangle Hearts. So you should have completed or are completing your designs, your Zentangle or Tangle designs in the spaces that you created in your hearts. Okay, now the next part is to add some watercolor fun. So on your table, you should have a red bucket, which probably doesn't have water in it, so you're gonna have to fill it up with water. You're gonna have to grab a paper towel from the sink, okay? You might also have to grab a brush by the sink, okay? And everybody should have their watercolors. So I'm gonna show you how to get started if your watercolors are dry. So I'm gonna tilt my camera down. All right, so my watercolors are dry and I'm just gonna have fun with color today. I'm not gonna worry about making anything look realistic. I'm just gonna have fun with playing and there are several ways to work with watercolors. One way is to work getting your watercolors wet. So to do that first, you're gonna dip your brush in the water and I think I'm gonna go with blue. And you're gonna massage the water into the brush to create pigment. Now, because we're just having fun splashing on watercolor on our paper, we don't have to, you don't have to worry about it getting it very pigmented, pigmented. You can just have colored water, which normally I don't really want you to have, but in this case you can. So once you activate your paint, so that's called activating your paint, I'm gonna get mine really wet. So one way of working with watercolor is to um, have the watercolors wet and your paper is dry. And I am just going to splash on some watercolor. You can try to fill in each little section. So I'm just splashing on watercolor on a dry paper. So my paper was dry, my water was, my colors were wet. Another way of working with watercolor is to get your paper wet first. So I'm gonna get my paper wet. My brush wasn't really clean, but I'm gonna get my paper wet. So my paper is wet and my brush still had a little bit of blue on it, oh well. And now I'm going to, I think I'm gonna throw in some orange. So I'm gonna activate my orange. And so by activating it, I'm just getting the pigment. I'm trying to swirl the water down into the paint and because my brush had blue on it because I didn't think about cleaning it. Okay, so now I have wet watercolor and wet paper and now I'm gonna put that in there. And when you do that, the, paper, the watercolor is gonna move a little bit more. So I'm adding more water. And you could even, if you had a lot of water pigment on your paper, you could even just dot it into the wet area and it would move. So this is your watercolor. And if you wanna add drips, again, I'm gonna let you really free fold and have fun with it. Just kind of see what happens when you work with a lot of water on your paper and a little bit of color. So we've worked dry paper, dry paper and wet pigment, and now wet and wet where the paper was wet and the pigment was wet. Um, so you can do either and or both methods. And the goal here is to just put some fun color over your paper. Now you can kind of color in your hearts, but I'm just gonna kind of have fun just adding a little bit of color and I'm gonna tilt my camera back down so you can see. I'm just kind of having fun adding color to my paper. So again, to activate your colors, you're gonna get water on your brush and massage in, especially if you want a deep color. Now, if you mix colors too much, so I'm mixing on this paper, I'm mixing the red into the orange and I'm making more orange. Um, you know, you could get mud. So watch which, how much, where you're putting your color and just kind of have fun with it. You guys are then gonna put it on the drying rack. 
and your name should already be on it. So I'm kind of liking the way this is looking. Now, if I pick it up, I'm going to get some drips here, but this is my finished piece and you could see it's very wet, so it's dripping and I can kind of play with that and I can kind of move it around if I wanted to. Okay. So have fun either working wet and wet so your paper is wet and your color is wet or the normal way of working when you just get your color wet and just adding it to your paper so i can't wait to see how these turned out we should be able to take them home on friday um, i'd love to hang some up in the hallway next week so if you don't mind me hanging it up please let me know but this is my finished piece so have fun with our zentangle heart design working with watercolor as our medium and sharpies.